Now we need to save our uh, labels and other metadata about image to database. Uh, we will use DynamoDB database that uh, AWS provides as a cloud service as well. DynamoDB is a NoSQL database in the cloud. The main benefit of NoSQL databases is that we can scale them horizontally as long as we want to do it. They store our data as documents and uh, we can expand the database just adding more capacity to it automatically. Unlike uh, SQL databases, uh, we don't have to create a schema for our table. We can add new properties to documents during development, and that gives us some freedom and flexibility. So uh, what we need to do now is to create our table for photos. We uh, will do it again in a serverless uh, file in the nice declarative way uh, same as we did with photo bucket. Let's go to serverless documentation and here um, they have uh, they provide us examples of uh, different resources how can we create them using a uh, serverless file. So that's our uh, database our database example and we can just copy it. And we have to copy it here to our resources. It is not a user table, though it is photos table. And these are lines. I'm not sure what are they for because I before I created it without it. But let's leave it. It doesn't bother me too much. And also I want to change the name. Now it's um, in the example it was hard coded to user table. And here we will just do recognition photos. We also need to add our permissions. So here in our role, we just add another allow statement. And we need to define actions that we allow to perform on our table. We want to write items there, so it will be Dynamo DB put item. And we also want to get items, so it's going to be get and we can just do like this and we want to scan our table and we want to query I will uh, tell more about difference between query and scan in DynamoDB a bit later and we want to update our item as well And what we want, we want to delete it. So that's our permissions. I think here we don't need this. We also have to tell what is our resource. And it's going to be again almost the same as the bucket. Just here it's not S3, it's DynamoDB. And here we copy our recognition photos. That's our table. Now we can run deploy and uh, serverless will create our table in AWS. Let's try it. Another thing I forgot to do, we want to add our table to the environment, so our table name. And we can copy it over from here. We will use it 
in our lambda functions when we will want to write something to write items documents oh, and in the meantime it has some warnings i guess i messed up some something here resources resources for the table uh huh. Yes, it's just a bit wrong intendation. Let me just fix it. Yes, they should be. Yes, they should be on the same, same level. Yeah, let's deploy it one more time. So our application deployed, and let's check. Uh, in our AWS console if uh, the table created we go to DynamoDB and we can click this explore items and you see this is our table empty for now but we will try to write something to it Let's go to our Lambda and let's um, refactor it a little bit. Let's create functions folder and place it there. And let's also rename it save photo. And here in serverless we need to change here the path to it also it has to be functions like this and now let's uh, run our backend you remember we run it on HTTP port custom one I run on 3009 and it worked so now when we save our image here to our S3 bucket and return this before we return this stuff we want to save uh, this um, file name and labels to our database and again we need to create a client using our aws uh, sdk and uh, if you remember here in serverless when we set up our resource, our um, database, we have this attribute name and um, here it's email. But uh, for, our, um, for our table with photos, we don't need email, we need just an ID. So let's change it to primary key. And it's going to be just unique ID that we will generate with a little library UUID and let's import it here and now after we got our labels and our file is in S3 packet we want to create a new primary key It will create just a random ID, random string, and then and now we are gonna write it to the DynamoDB. It's a synchronous call again. We call our client and we call action put. And then here we need our table name. You remember we added it in the environment variables in serverless here. So we need this photos table. And 
just like just like this but instead of bucket name it's gonna be photo table photo stable and next the item itself the data for our picture so it's primary key and we want to save the name and our labels of course let's just copy it over and I'll put it here and here hmm. yeah and here we are waiting for promise So if this call to the database will be successful, we can get our, we can return our stuff. We can return primary key as well. Saved file and labels. So let's try now. Let's run our front end as well. And let's upload a picture and see if it's gonna be here in the database okay my mountain picture uploading and it's ready let's refresh here hmm something went wrong let's say it seems oh, missing the key mail oh yeah we changed it here but we need to redeploy and restart our application okay let's try to rename it mm, just photos yes let's redeploy unfortunately it doesn't let us deploy the same table twice so before you create it before you run your deploy first time, after you add your resource, your table, uh, check twice, double check that you set up everything correct, that there is no copy paste artifacts left. Otherwise you will be like me renaming your table. I don't know. I tried to delete it as well, but it didn't work. And another important thing here as we renamed our table we have to rename it here as well otherwise our photos table here will get a wrong name and now it is successfully deployed let's now run our backend locally and let's try again to upload our picture And let's watch for any errors but it seems went well and let's check our new table and overview explore items yeah that's our first picture that we sent to our table the next step will be to fetch the list of user images and display it in our client 